Hello, coin collectors, and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We're doing another joint video in conjunction with the United Kingdom Coin World Channel, and it's about the United Kingdom halfpenny coin from 1966, and that's Big Sister over there, the one penny coin, and we'll move her a little off to the side and talk about her later. So this is the half penny from 1966. You can see it says Elizabeth II, Dia Gratia, by the grace of God, Regina or Queen, FD, Defender of the Faith, and then we have this cross up here. If you look closely, you can see this, of course, is the Mary Gillick portrait, and uh, it's the laureate, uh, the kind of the laurel wreath uh, crown, the ribbon coming out the back, um, and she's wearing... Um, kind of a, a simple um, shirt here. This is the, the young Queen Elizabeth, and this was on the coin for its whole running. So this was on the coin from 1953, when it first was made, until 1970, with one small difference, and that is in the 1953, it of course said Brit Omn on it, or Queen of All Britons. And uh, after 1953, which was her coronation year, uh, they took that off. So from 1954 to 1970, it was exactly the same with the Mary Gillick portrait. And you can see the beaded outer rim, and it's just really a finely made and finely designed coin. You can really tell the quality of this, and you can also tell um, how what kind of shape it's in, like if it's fine, uh, very fine, if it's in almost uncirculated or uncirculated condition, you can tell in one very simple look at the beads generally, the beads in the rim. Now this coin has some incredible toning on it, and this collectors love this kind. Of, this is from going through people's hands for, you know, 50 or 60 years, and it just gets this kind of patina or toning on it. The coin itself is a relatively large coin. It's about the size of a U.S. quarter. It is 5.67 grams, 25.4 millimeters in diameter, and 1.3 millimeters in thickness. It was taken out of circulation completely on August 1st, 1969. If we look at the rim, we see that it is a smooth rim, and this is, of course, a bronze coin. The metal alignment is this side is up, and so in order to get the other side to be up, you flip it sideways like this, rather than head over heels, kind of. When we get to the back, we see just a magnificent engraving, and it is says half penny at the top. This is 1966 at the bottom. We have the line here, the line here. We have a funny little thing here that many people don't notice, and that is... In H, let's see, in a P. So a lot of people say, well, who was HP? Um, and it turns out that HP is actually his last name, the last name of the engraver, which was Thomas Humphrey Paget. So P A G E T. So Humphrey Paget, um, that's the middle and last name. The Thomas is not in there. And if we look at the ship, we see that this is Sir Francis Drake's. Golden Hind, with the first um, English warship uh, that really uh, made uh, the United Kingdom and Great Britain a world power um, when they started coming out with these ships. What happened in with this particular ship was it was launched in, in 1577, 1577, and it was called the Pelican at the time. Then in 1578, in mid-voyage, they renamed it the Golden Hind. Now, a Golden Hind is a red deer, a female red deer, and that female red deer was on the crest of the man who, of the man who was a major sponsor of the voyage. And so the Golden Hind, the pelican became the Golden Hind in 1578. One of the things that the Golden Hind did was it was a privateer. In other words, it went and tried to steal stuff from other ships. It took the other ships, and you can see down here the cannons. This was a very 
This was the super weapon um, at the time it was built. It was fast, it was maneuverable, it had these cannons on it. And so Queen Elizabeth, when they started on their voyage in 15, not Queen Elizabeth, the Queen, when they started on their voyage in 1577, uh, said to Francis, to Francis Drake, whatever revenge you can exact upon the Spaniards would be welcome. And uh, you can look at the exact quote, but essentially she, with his blessing, uh, with her blessing, she he went and uh, boarded as many Spanish ships as he could, including one where he got one half ton of gold and uh, 26 tons of silver from one ship. It took him eight days to move all the gold and silver and jewelry uh, from the Spanish ship to this ship in order to bring it home. Um, right, There were 360,000 gold pesos on that ship. So he took that ship. He g did another thing that was really weird, and that was he brought home tons and tons of cloves. And uh, cloves were, at the time that he brought them home in the 1500s, were worth more than gold by weight. And so when he got back, um, he brought a ton of money, other people's money, but it became the money of both the Queen of England and his benefactor. Now, there are a couple of uh, replicas still around if you want to see what the Golden Hind looked like. And there is one on the Thames. It's Right now, I think it's in Bankside, Southwark, um, London. And then there's one in Devon, England. And there is also a number of uh, some TV shows. Um, the a replica of the Golden Hind is featured in the um, miniseries Shogun uh, about Japan, and it's just a just a really fine ship. Now, when this ship came back, it was gone from I believe 1577 to 1581. Uh, it was actually became a museum ship and was it kind of docked in London so people could get on board. You, if you look up here, you can see the British flag here, uh, the Union Jack here. Um, I'm not sure if it was called the Union Jack at the time, but essentially the Union Jack. And then if you look at this flag here, you can see the cross on this flag also. So that's all we have today. Oh, should I tell you how many of them they made? Oh, and should I show you their big sister? Well, the halfpenny coin in um, England was worth one four hundred eightieth of a pound. It had a big sister, the one penny coin, which was worth one two hundred fortieth of a pound. And this is the big sister. Uh, of course, Britannia is on the back of this one. This is in 1966. It's the one with the lighthouse. No ship out at sea. You know, some of the pennies did have a British ship out at sea. This one did not in 1966, but it did have the lighthouse. It has the shield. It has the trident, and Britannia is wearing a helmet. And, of course, this one does not have the lion at her feet either. One penny, 1966, and, of course, the same exact writing, Elizabeth II, Dia Gratia, Regina, um, F.D. Now, back to the half penny. In 1966, it was its next to the last year of general circulation coins. 1966, they made 95.3 million of these. This coin here is probably worth uh, 50 cents to a dollar U.S. People would probably pay more just because they haven't seen it much, but say 50 cents to the dollar. And it was then made again in 1966. In general circulation, they made 146.5 million. And then in 1967, they um, they made some uh, a reported proof version. And in 1970, they made 750,400 proof only coins, which were worth are currently worth three dollars and fifty to five dollars on like eBay. So when you look for these coins, um, make sure you look uh, the front and the back. And if you're looking for the 1966, remember that there are all also uh, there are two of the one shilling, two of the different one shilling coins from 1966, which we'll do in another video. There is also a three pence coin 
from 1966. And then there is, of course, a sixpence coin. And there it is. A one shilling coin, which we just showed two of, and then the two shilling. All right. Thanks for watching the DC Coin World, United Kingdom Coin World joint video. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section. And let's get the small half penny Queen Elizabeth II back into focus. And we'll leave you with that image of the half penny right there. Not quite so cockeyed. There you go. Thank you.